So what's up everyone? It has been a hot, hot minute since I've done any content, probably six to eight weeks. My life has been insane. I'm going to do a bunch of videos. It's going to be the same shirt, so don't judge me. I'm not going to change today. And this first video, I want to talk about how do I balance four businesses? Well, I have a real estate business, which I've been doing 20 years. I have my event center dance studio, which has been open five and a half years. I have my super congress, which is 5,000 people. It's the biggest uh, salsa bachata dancing events with six concerts and shows and competition every 4th of July weekend, but it's literally 12 months of work. And I have a new platform that's launching uh, about two months. I've been working on for three years, constant delays, constantly going over budget, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, I work from about 5.30, 6 in the morning to about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night super stressful there's really not a lot of breaks in between i'm always jumping from one problem to the next i do have a great staff for all my companies unfortunately staff can only do so much right i physically have to be in those listing appointments i physically am dealing with the parents or or you know events or whatever the case may be i'm physically de dealing with artists for my for my congress and i'm physically coming up with the ideas and dealing with the programmers and the, and the legalities to the new platform as well. So I make sure that I take an hour and a half, four days a week and I go to the gym. It's really, really important. You know, I try and get my mind um, away from work or at least out of this home office. You guys see the same um, pictures in the back, but I actually have pictures all over. I have one that says persistent, hard work and never give up. I have awards. I have this one that says mindset is everything. It's a, it's a little kitten and then a big tiger. Anyways. So um, you guys kind of see me in the same place. I literally am attached to this chair a lot of the day. I have to come up with forecasts. I have to come up with projections. I have to come up with, you know, what's, what's trending and, and trying to stay ahead of the curve in, in all areas of my business, right? So it's very, very mentally and physically taxing. And um, it's hard, it's hard, you know? I mean, a lot of people say I, I look super young and I think it's because of what I eat, you know? Um, so you really can't eat bad, can't drink soda, cannot drink alcohol. You need to stay away from alcohol as much as possible. I've really, really, really cut back a lot on alcohol. I'll have probably like maybe one drink once a week or once every two weeks. But even then the next day I just feel lethargic and I, and I have like uh, brain fog and things like that. So my advice to you guys if you're working a full-time job and you have a family and you have extra stuff going on maybe you're taking care of your your parents or you know maybe you have a child that needs medical care or something like that or, or maybe you have two jobs and, and you have a side hustle or, or whatever it is or whatever that looks like right my advice to you is to make sure that you have you time i did a mistake. I did a mistake where I was always putting work first and I was putting me second and I was in a relationship recently and I'll get into that in the next video, but I was putting her, you know, second as well. And that really, you know, affected my personal life and my relationship and everything like that. So my advice to you guys is work is always going to be there. You can't work yourself to death. You're going to work yourself right into the grave. You're going to miss your life. You're going to miss everything that you're doing. Take that trip. Your work will, money will always be there. You cannot get time back. You cannot get being 30 or 31 or 32 or whatever that is. You cannot get that time back. You cannot. So take that time for you. Take two, three days. Take one day. Do a staycation. Tell your parents to watch the animals. Tell your parents to watch your kids. Whatever the case may be, turn off your phone. Give yourself time. Meditate at least five to 10 minutes a day. Eat right. Stay away from alcohol. Do something for you. Listen to an audiobook. Start to learn another language. You have to have balance in order to do all these things. And you have to let your mind get away from work and not just be drilling, 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 right? So, my advice to you in order to balance a rough schedule this is how I balance a rough schedule is. Even when I'm on the road, I'm listening to audiobooks, I'm listening to masterclass, I'm trying to improve as a person, I'm trying to improve as a listener, right? To, to listen to my clients, to listen to my friends, to listen to my family, you know? And not just dismiss what everybody's saying because I'm just so focused on work. So that's how I deal with my busy schedule in, order, in owning multiple businesses. So I really, really uh, take it from somebody who's worked their whole life 
and just you know grind and grind grind it grind it and i could have done a lot more i could have done a lot more trips i could have spent a lot more time with friends and things like that so take time for you you are is what is most important i hope i'm saying that right you are the most important factor in this equation because without you without your your good health and your energy the people around you will also feel it and you know you want you you want to be a positive influence to people around you and not a negative right so remember do for you your family your friends will appreciate it love you guys so much thank you so much for watching all my content i know i have a lot going on but i truly truly appreciate you for more content like this make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you on the next one.